Janet Tristram and I'm a printmaker at Bonfield with my husband. I'm the husband. Um, my name's Cameron Short. I suppose uh, working as a couple for some people might seem like the dream and others an absolute nightmare. For us it's the, it's the former. Um, I think we're a good team, so that helps. Yeah, um, I think we have different strengths, so we complement one another. I get my inspiration from, I suppose, my childhood growing up on a farm in Hampshire and um, all the vivid recollections I have of that, um, rather sort of magical um, stuff that you don't see in the countryside anymore. So telling the story of the countryside, the um, uh, old way of life, um, and uh, I like to imbue the designs with a narrative. I think it makes them more interesting, more involving. Um, and like you work in the countryside. Yeah, and I suppose my I suppose I work I do work in the countryside still as um, a hedge layer, and my brother is a charcoal burner, so um, I'm very much in touch with with rural life. Uh, still, so uh, that does help to um, hatch ideas. Yeah, we're very uh, we are very excited about imbuing imagery with history and uh, flora, fauna, animals, but with a nice little dark twist. It's often uh, folklore that um, mm. finds its way into our into our stuff. Um, I think we live in a very um, uh, in some ways quite a bland world, the modern world is, and it's, um, I think people hanker after a bit of romance and um, stuff that possibly can't be explained. The process is fairly straightforward, um, you have an image in your head uh, which you commit to uh, tracing paper, um, and then you uh, commit that to the block, and once it's done on the block it's in reverse, um, and you start cutting away the areas that you want to read the colour of the paper ground or the fabric ground. Anything that's left raised on the block will be the colour of the ink you choose. Um, and once the block is inked, uh, charged with ink, um, it's then put um, on the presses, on the press bed. We've got a lovely, um, an ancient press from 1904, an old proofing press, uh, which is a cylinder. Um, it's very simple, very easy to use. Um, uh, we put the block down on its bed um, and then paper on top and um, away you go, you know, you, you roll the cylinder over the paper, that applies the pressure, that's called a pass. And then uh, once the cylinder's out the way, done its work, you then lift the paper, peel it back very gently and you should have a beautifully inked image. Uh, sometimes it doesn't work beautifully, you just have to try again. Um, but um, it's it's quite a simple process. That in itself is the magic of printmaking. It's hand and eye. So you have your idea, you, you commit it to a block, you print it. And there's no machinery apart from the press. So it's just the skill of your, of your draftsmanship, your draftswomanship, <laughs> and, um, and how you ink up. And that's the magic of it. I think that's why people love printmaking. Uh, as, as we work together, uh, we really see maybe where we're going as a partnership and as a business, and we most definitely have decided that we, we want to be able to enjoy our lifestyle, and we only want to be able to produce what we can ourselves with our hands at the moment. So block printing and handmade is, is what we do and we can only make as much as we can make with our lifestyle so so it's, yeah. it's about making images and and making work that's affordable and that's pleasurable for us that's the kind of initiative yeah. I think so and I think uh, block printed stuff is um, is regarded highly by people I think people do, can tell the difference between you know a, a block printed uh, piece of work be it um, a print on paper or a print on fabric that's then made into a beautiful cushion or a lampshade as opposed to a digitally pr produced or uh, uh, screen printed, uh, commercially screen printed stuff. Um, there's something very real about um, uh, a block printed image. You can see the ink that's been 
um, slightly raised on the on the surface of be it the paper or the fabric. Um, you can see the imperfections. Every strike of the press is slightly different. So you see the, the evidence of the human hand, um, and it is an I think it is a, a, a an antidote to without sounding pretentious. It is an antidote to mass-produced, uh, cheaply produced stuff. Um, it has integrity. It's a lot of work, thought, and love gone into it. And that's what we want to continue to do.